I miss vlogging so much. I actually vlog daily, actually, truthfully. Um, but I just get so overwhelmed with executive functioning things. Like, um, I was diagnosed with ADHD back in college and I just have such a hard time doing small things. I get really overwhelmed, but when it's like a big crisis or an emergency, I am like on it and I am so responsible and can be counted on. But when it comes to small tasks, like call this person or make an appointment for the DMV or even post something on Instagram, I get so overwhelmed times to the point where I cry because it just does, it can't like, there's no other way, but I don't know. I'm like rambling. Um, hi, how are you? Uh, yeah, so I have moved again. I've probably moved like five times in the past two years, honestly. I've lost count. We are very nomadic as a family, and right now I'm in Arizona, Tucson to be exact. I bought a house um, here. Like, I signed the papers on the 30th of June. So, right now it's September 8th. I am a homeowner, which is. Hold up. Which is so crazy. Um, it's something that I never thought would happen to me only because I'm so nomadic and the thought of staying put for more than a year somewhere kind of makes me nervous. Yeah, I just need stimulation to keep me um, happy and inspired and loving life but I am trying to be more responsible and more grown up about it. Um, I just had my birthday last month and I want a new way of living and this is my new house. Um, it's a 1959 uh, house. It's very small, definitely a downgrade from our a house, a Victorian house that was built in the 1700s was our previous house. Um, that one I think was about 4,000 square feet and this one I think is about 1,300 square feet. So very small um, in comparison to the other house. I am still in the process of purging. There's so much furniture that I have. A lot of vintage stuff from Shop Girl that's left over at my mom's house that I had to pick up two weeks ago from LA. So I am gonna start documenting my weekly here on the vlog. I do have to say that it's gonna be really slow. It's a slow process. I'm gonna show updates of the house and things like that. We are taking it slow because I want to be more intentional with what I do in this house. So far we painted the exterior, well not me, but I hired someone to paint the exterior and it's so beautiful. I wish I could show you if it wasn't for privacy reasons, I would totally show you. Um, and then the interior is almost done, um, I'm sorry, for the dining room and our main bathroom is left. I'm just so happy to be living in Arizona. Uh, we have visited Tucson so many times. I've gotten this question probably a hundred times, but why we moved to Arizona, Tucson specifically, because it's small and um, a lot of people that I encountered was just like puzzled at why we chose Tucson. Um, and people in Arizona seem to not like Tucson. Like, not the people here in, in Tucson, but the people I've encountered just kind of shit on Tucson um, that I've met here in Arizona. I don't know. Um, I like it personally because it's so beautiful for me. It's really beautiful. Um, I love Barrio Viejo. Um, it's so beautiful and I love the downtown area and all of the old like colorful adobe homes are so precious. That's what I fell in love with the first time I was here in Tucson. We decided to buy a house on the west side of Tucson, so towards the mountains um, and Gates Pass, which is like my favorite drive ever. It's just so beautiful and scenic and I'm surrounded by trees everywhere, especially the property that I'm in is surrounded by so many mature trees and saguaros everywhere. Um, I'm so lucky to have saguaros in my, in my property. Um, that was like, yeah, I just feel really happy to have that. I also started doing Reiki again. Um, my Reiki practice 
performing it on other people um, has been really awesome. There's just something about this area that just feels really healing and also my house if you guys are into numerology is an 11 house 11 numerology means like very healing so i was just like wow that is in sync with what i want to do next i want to pivot more into the healing aspect Sorry, my ring camera keeps going off because it's so windy outside. It's monsoon season right now. So I've been babbling, I think, for like seven minutes straight. Thank you for being here. I can't wait to show you guys more of Tucson. I'm so excited to highlight my favorite places. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I've already done that with like mini vlogs and also on TikTok. And I can't wait to do that more here and also update on the house, um, on Reiki, on pivoting, talking more about the fear that I feel doing this new thing that I've been wanting to do for so long but have been so scared to do because uh, just the family upbringing that I've had and uh, those kind of shadows. So I can't wait to talk more about that and share and take you guys along. Thank you so much for being here. Let's continue this vlog. So this is my living room currently. It's very messy. I work from this table more often than this desk, which eventually will be sold off. Um, just right now I'm using it because I need a proper desk but I just love sitting down on the ground. There's just something about sitting down on the ground that just feels more natural to me. And then we bought this couch from Crate and Barrel, but I have a cover on it just because my dog loves just getting everything dirty. This is a lamp from Shop Girl, and then another Shop Girl piece that I've had for a while. And this is my lovely coffee table that I just got recently. It's so cute. It's cement and I just love the texture and it's very hearty and like strong, not, not strong, but heavy. Um, and then I put these curtains in as just like a temporary fix because I eventually would love to fix this area, figure out what I want to do with the sliding door. This Muto sofa I'm gonna sell on Marketplace and then as well as this This is my favorite shelving. That's my dad got it for me in San Diego and A mirror right now. This looks like chaos Here's stuff that I'm bringing to the consignment store and more of my shelving that I need to figure out um, I hate these uh, floors. They're just so like 1980s and they're just not the vibe. Um, so I'm just showing you guys a work in progress. Mind you, everything is really messy, so be kind. Um, I'm not there yet, as in we just moved here, so um, everything's gonna look like in disarray. I did want to have this lamp that I got in Denmark but I decided to put this here, but I just bought a smaller shade for the kitchen. 